In the world of show business awards, few statuettes are as famous, or should that be infamous, as the Golden Raspberry Award, known around the world as the Razzie. But how is the Razzie itself actually made? We've been invited to go behind the scenes to witness this fascinating process, which is sure to be as classy as the Razzie ceremonies themselves. Originally designed and copyrighted in the early 1980s, the Razzie statuette consists of many film-related elements. The base of the award was originally the lid of a jar of raspberry-flavored iced tea mix, but they don't make that anymore, so the craftsman uses whatever jar is the right size. He then takes the jar lid, slaps a glob of plaster of Paris into it, giving the whole thing ballast. While that's drying, he takes a 35 millimeter film core and enrobes it in a wood grain shelf paper from the 99 cent only store. Topping the pedestal of the award is a plastic Super 8 film reel, which was much easier to find 30 years ago. Next, he meticulously hand molds a ball of clay into what will be the core of the 3D raspberry, which will eventually sit atop the statuette. Then, he smashes a bunch of gold beads into the clay to look like the nubs of the raspberry. Once that's done, he shoves a piece of wooden dowling into it. At this point, he spray paints the lovely raspberry gold. The dowling of the raspberry is then shoved into the center of the film reel. And finally, as a finishing touch, he adds the fake leaves to the raspberry. What a lovely, unique statuette. It certainly approximates the quality of the film achievements it was designed to honor. All in all, including the jar lid, film core, clay, beads, leaves, and spray paint, we estimate the current value to be about $4.97. And there you have it, the inside story of the process and the price of creating one of Tinseltown's most priceless, iconic, and if I might say so, tackiest trophies.